Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd talk about the new features they've included in the latest update of Luminar Neo, which is version 1.0.6. So the first thing they added was a histogram. And if we go up here to menu and we go to view, we can show the histogram. If we click on the histogram, it will change the view that we're looking at. Over here, up in the upper left and right corners are two dots and if you click on these one is for shadows and one is for highlights and it will show you clipping so if we go down uh, here to the uh, develop module and go to exposure as we move up you can see it turns red as w as things are going to full or total white if we go the other direction you can see the shadows when they turn to total black turn blue so that's a, a really nice feature i use that a lot in other photo editing software uh, when it's available because it, it really helps you uh, adjust exposure and contrast and such so uh, the next features are the masking they've uh, they've improved masking on here they've added some features and they've added ai masking which is really cool so i'm going to go down here you can do this with any function on here. I'm going to go with the black and white right here. I'm going to go to masking. We can do a linear gradient, which allows us to kind of go uh, vertically or horizontally or even diagonally to uh, mask things. If we go with that, you can see it it, it, it it gradiates it up and it's gotten rid of uh, the green here. Of course, the parking lot's already gray. Uh, and so if we go back, let's uh, discard those edits. And if we go back to black and white again, we can also go with the masking. We can do a radial gradient. And you can actually invert it as well. You can see here it's gone gray except for for everything uh, right here. And if we invert it and cl click on it, it, it turns uh, this area gray in, in with the uh, radial gradient. So let's discard that. But the most interesting thing is the um, AI masking. And with the AI masking, takes a minute it's going to calculate all of this out you can see it's uh, doing its little thing here calculating out what's what in the picture and so we can actually mask out certain things so if we click on architecture it's going to just mask out the architecture we can turn that back off again uh, we can do the sky and we can click these on and off but the thing that's really interesting is it recognizes all sorts of things so if we look for, for man-made ground it will uh, it will mask off the parking lot here if we turn that off if we uh, we can actually uh, go to uh, flora and you can see it masks off the trees And uh, if we had water here, it would do that. The really cool thing is we can go to transportation here and it masks off the cars actually. Now it's not perfect. There's some uh, things here you'd have to go in with a brush for, but it does save a lot of time and depending on the picture, it comes out um, better or, or worse. So one thing that's nice about the uh, masking is you can actually uh, combine it. So if we're using the AI and masking, we decide we want to do the architecture, we can uh, click on that. We could also click on flora and add, you can see it adds the trees as well. So we can pick the different elements and add and subtract them very easily. Like I said, the, the masking isn't perfect, so it, it, it will do a pretty good job and on some images it does a better job than on others. Uh, so you may have to go in with a brush and do some manual adjustments to it. But it, it should save a lot of time and as they put out new updates. I'm sure the uh, AI abilities will improve on this even better. 
so those are the new features of the latest update of Luminar uh, Neo version 1.0.6. I'm Dean, and this has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.